Welcome to the Build Your Legacy podcast with Enzo Holmes, discussing all things building, custom homes, and building a legacy for you and your family. Welcome to episode one of the podcast. My name's Sam and I'm the business development manager at Enzo Homes. Today I'm joined by Michael Badman, our new home specialist. Thanks for having me, Sam. No worries. So Michael, are you able to give us a little bit of a rundown on what your role is at Enzo Homes? Yes, I certainly can. Um, I'm the new home specialist. So I am the first point of call for new clients that are coming in quiet with Enzo Homes. Um, I work out of our display home in uh, Armstrong Creek, Anchorage Estate. And I've been there for about two years. Um, So I take initial inquiries um, and then from there I build um, uh, the relationship with the clients and work through all the way through to to the build stage with the client. Perfect. Sounds great. And a bit of a background on my role at Enzo Homes is being the business development manager, I basically just try to help make the company better in any way that I can. So I do a lot of work in the marketing and branding side of things some systems and processes. I visit every building site once a month to check on safety and the cleanliness of our sites. Um, And it's quite quite varied across the board, just basically wherever we can find improvement in the company. Um, So I guess for first time listeners, are you able to describe where we kind of sit in the building market? Yeah, definitely. Um, So we're uh, between that volume and and full custom uh, build at us. So we... At the moment, we're taking a lot of custom builds. So we have clients that obviously bring their plans to us um, from architects or things that they've had drawn previously. Um, we have a lot of fantastic templates, different designs from, from the standard volume builder. Um, so our, our managing, our director, Lee, who's, who started the company, wanted to find that kind of niche in the market that was a little bit different than volume, but at more of an affordable price. So he's come up with a lot of different concepts um, that are uh, just a little bit unique um, compared to that that volume builder um, that offer uh, higher inclusions, but not so high that it's unattainable for that first second home buyer. Um, so it's it's a really kind of kind of different market to be in, um, but uh, it's it's absolutely booming at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. And you've obviously worked at some different builders in the past. What's different? I guess more rewarding about working with Enzo Homes, a custom home builder that does offer those more unique facades and floor plans and, and custom inclusions? Well, initially, I was attracted to Enzo Homes as a client. Um, so I saw their designs and, and came through the display home with, and, and was wowed. Um, so for me, it was absolutely love the designs, love the floor plans. This is, this is a house I want to build for myself, whereas the volume builders, they, they, they're, they're good, they're affordable, um, but they don't have that kind of architecturally designed um, kind of element to it like we do. So for me, when myself and my wife walked through there, it was just like, wow, this is fantastic. Uh, I'd love to sell these homes. Um, and then lucky enough for me, two months later, a, a, an ad popped up and, um, you know, every day of the week I was going to apply for it and I was very fortunate enough that um, I was given the opportunity to, to sell these homes. Um, you know, I believe in having a product – Um, that I believe in um, and that I would build myself. Um, And I am actually building an Enzo home um, later this year. Yeah, perfect. And I'm actually building with Enzo homes at the moment. So I guess we, um, yeah, we we live what we preach sort of thing. Um, I suppose if a client identifies as wanting to build with Enzo homes, what's the way that they would go about that? A couple of different ways. Uh, a lot of clients we have coming through at the moment uh, are referrals, um, which I think is the, the best form of advertising. So other clients that have built with us have, have mentioned us and, and they've walked through that particular client's home and, and see and, and, and talked about their journey and been very impressed. So a lot of our clientele do come from referrals um, as well as uh, we have a very good, um, uh, like yourself, Sam, does a lot of the work with uh, with our advertising kind of uh, online. So we get a lot of online inquiry. So we... Um, uh, we had a client come in on the weekend and um, he did a search for the, the top three builders in, in Geelong region and we we're one of those builders that came up. So we get a very good kind of web-based present at the moment as well. Um, and, um, yeah, we get the occasional kind of person that kind of walks past our display home and, and, and pops in and has a look. But, you know, referrals and, um, you know, online inquiries is, is a, big, a big part of where we get our new clientele from. 
Yeah, so being being customer home builder, we offer obviously the opportunity for customers to come in and design whatever home they want to build. How does that design process work and how might it differ in some ways compared to going with a volume builder? With a volume builder, you're very restricted in what you can do uh, or changes you can make to a floor plan. Um, so we have the ability to really customise the, the standard floor plans that we have. Um, as an example, our, our display home, our Lighthouse 26, is a, a beautiful display home, um, but it's a 26-square home. Um, as an example, I've customised that for a client that I've turned into a 44-square um, you know, custom-designed lighthouse. Still has the bones of the lighthouse, um, but it is, um, like I said, it's the, the, the things that we can do. Um, we can fully customise a home to suit a client. Uh, not only that, we can work off... Um, plans that clients bring to us, uh, whether they work with an architect beforehand or, or even if they've just hand-sketched a plan, um, which is common. Sometimes I've, I've got clients that have come in and with a, a bit of paper and, and have just drawn something on a, you know, with a pencil on a bit of paper and brought it to me and they say they want to build something like this, um, as well as you know, people that are, uh, have a bit more of a design uh, flair. I, I do have clients that uh, you know, mark things up them, quite, you know, themselves um, you know, because they've got that clear vision that they want to kind of get out um, and get to me. And, um, yeah, so there's obviously those, those couple of different ways. Yeah. So I've seen a few of the client sketches that you've gotten over the years and some of them are pretty interesting and unique drawings. How do you go from some of those drawings that might not be accurately scaled or, or quite, you know, easy to work off sort of thing? How do you go from that point to working through them and almost being their co-pilot through the process to then deliver it to concept design stage and then getting those working drawings done? So initially I sit down with them and, and once I've got, you know, a very rough sketch from a client and, and, and like you said, you've seen some of them, they're very, very rough. Um, I, I like to kind of old school, get my pencil out. I like to kind of get A3 piece of paper, draw it to scale one to a hundred. Um, so I just like to give them a concept based on their concept um, but being kind of in terms of being realistic um, in terms of their budget um, and also having a chat to them about the, the things they want in their house. You know, do they want three bedrooms? Do they want four bedrooms, bathrooms? Um, the, the orientation of the block is very important in terms of natural light coming into the house. So um, there's a lot of back and forth with the client. It's a, it's a, it's a, we work together very, very closely on the design um, so once we've come to that, that initial sketch, um, that's when I kind of bring it forward to our drafting team and our drafting team kind of brings the plan alive. So it's very rough with me. Uh, I don't have a background in kind of, you know, drawing anything like that. I, I enjoy it and um, I'm very good at visualising and walking through a plan with a client. So for me, it's, it's a really kind of enjoyable process. Um, it's, 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 yes, it's a lot of back and forth. Um, but the, it's very rewarding at the end when you can kind of see that finished product, you can see the full working drawings and then coming to coming alive and, and seeing the actual you know, build side of it um, you know, come together, it's, it's, uh, it's great to see. Yeah, definitely. And we've got two options with our design services at Enzo Home. So we have our in-house drafting team, which is incredible because it allows us to be really efficient with going through the design process. We also now offer the opportunity to work directly with an architect as well. So that's a service that we added to our offering last year. Um, and who who might that service be for? Um, it's probably for that that full custom custom build. Um, so people that have a, a clear clear vision. Um, generally, someone with a, a slightly kind of obviously you know bigger budget, um, you know, working with an architect obviously adds that little bit of extra cost to the build side of it as well. So, um, it, look, it is open to everyone. You know, you, when we go with an architect, you know, they're, they're, you can spend anywhere between fifteen to, to $30,000 with, with an architect. Um, when we work with the, the team that we work with, with our architects, it's um, making sure that they bring within budget because that's what I find is clients bring me plans from architect that they're absolutely beautiful, gorgeous plans, um, but they're way over budget. You know, the architects just obviously go off a bit of a tangent and, and, and make it as beautiful as possible, but forget about the actual money side of it. So with us, obviously, we make sure that it's, it's, a, it's a clear path between the design and, and the, the budget side of it as well. 
Yeah, absolutely. And if clients do come with their own architectural plans and it's well, well over budget, like you mentioned, one of the things that we can do is work with them to develop a design that does um, provide 90% of that original architectural design and maintain the integrity of what the vision was with that product. But then um, find, find different ways and alternatives that we can make it sit within their budget so they can still get their dream home in the end. So 100%. We, we did that recently on a job in 13th Beach. Um, so they came to us with plans that was drawn up by an architect. Again, spent 20 odd thousand dollars. Fantastic plan. Um, got it quoted by a, a full custom builder and, and it was way over budget. Um, they came to us and said, look, we, we really want to build with you guys. This is our plan. Um, can you make it a bit affordable? So we sit down with a client. We go over some options to make it um, a, a little bit affordable, uh, more affordable to fall within their budget. Um, so that's it's a commonly think done as well. Again, I've got another one going through the process at the moment for Fairhaven. Um, plans drawn up, absolutely fantastic plans from the architect. I'm sure they spent an absolute fortune off them. Um, but again, uh, they just don't have the budget to, to, to build that. So now we look at it, okay, well, how can we kind of tweak and change it? So not just myself, I obviously, obviously bring my uh, my whole team in. Um, you know, the draft, my drafty, um, obviously I get you look at the plan sometimes, Sam, as, as well as our, our, our boss, Lee, general manager, everyone have a bit of a look of where we can kind of trim things down to make sure we fall within the budget. Yeah, for sure. And I guess a lot of these more complex designs come together because a lot of our clientele are third to fifth home buyers sort of thing. So generally what they're looking for is more flexibility. Um, they're wanting those higher end finishes. They're looking for something that's unique. What would be some of the recent projects that we've had that have had some more kind of interesting design elements in them compared to your standard volume built houses and what are, what are those design elements? Um, there's been probably a fair few. Um, Again, the one in 13th Beach was a quite a kind of complicated kind of design, beautiful kind of rake ceiling throughout the kind of living area. Um, again, definitely some kind of elements that you just can't do with a with a standard kind of volume volume builder. Uh, I've got one going to site very shortly through in Point Lonsdale. Um, beautiful build. Um, again, a bit more of a complicated site where we're doing a couple of step downs for the house to make it a bit more livable for the, for the client. Um, so there's some, some big features. You know, we're, we're very lucky that in our display home, we have a, a beautiful display home, has a beautiful kind of raised ceiling, 3.3 raised ceiling. Um, so it's a, it's a beautiful feature for, for clients to see. When clients walk through that, they go, oh, that's something that I want within my home. Um, so we've, we have that on show. But we also, like I said, I, I sometimes walk clients through houses under construction just to see what they can get as well. Um, whether it's a, you know, as I said, a raised ceiling or if it's polished concrete floor, um, something just a little bit different, a little bit more kind of unique. Yeah, for sure. One of one of the favourite custom aspects that we built last year for me personally was having the internal lift in um, our project at Point Lonsdale. I think that was a really interesting one because it was designed to suit the lifestyle requirements of the client. Unfortunately, one of the clients had had a, a few health issues that were impacting their mobility. So they need additional design elements like the internal lift because it was a double story home with reverse living. We had to include a an inbuilt bench in the shower because they're unable to stand up for the entire shower so they could sit down so they could have their showers and maintain that quality of life as well as adding in um, the facilities to have a gas heated pool so they could maintain their, their rehab program and um, and stay active. So I think they're putting a pickleball, um, was it pickle kind of ball? Yeah, pickleball. Caught, yeah. caught on their uh, on their block as well, actually. So that, that was a beautiful design, that one. I remember kind of going in there just as it was finishing up and uh, playing around the lift. Um, yeah. So it was good fun for, for, for me, actually. So, um, yeah, like I said, it is is a little bit different for, for an older clientele. Uh, it is a reverse living home, double-story reverse living home. So it was obviously, like I said, necessary for the client to have a lift because of the health issues, but also being that kind of reverse beautiful view over the, the Lonsdale Shore Golf Course there. Um, so you want to make use of that by having that kind of living area upstairs. So that was an absolutely beautiful design we handed over uh, late last year. Yeah, true. And they're, they're incredible clients. That's the second house that we've been fortunate enough to build for them. And their sister's actually building in Ocean Grove at the moment as well. So we've been really lucky to be a part of that family and their building journeys. Um, that's the referrals. Um, that's, like I said, where we talked about before, where we get a lot of our, our new clients from. Uh, and, and we've had multiple, you know, you know clients build multiple homes with us because their, their, you know, their journey the first time was fantastic and then they want to go through that journey again. They weren't put off like going through some volume builders. They build one and they go, I'm never going to do this again. 
Um, but we're very lucky that the, throughout the whole journey from, from the initial sales process right through to construction, they've enjoyed that process and they want to go through that again because it is a very, very long process. Yeah, it is. So you spoke about your referrals as well as getting online inquiry. The first, pers- per- well, the first place that most people meet you is in our display home in Armstrong Creek. So the displays of our Lighthouse 26 design with our barrier facade. Do you want to tell us a bit more about the design that we have there? Yeah, fantastic. It's, um, it's an award-winning display home. Uh, we've won multiple awards with that display home through the HIA and uh, Master Builders. Um, I think the, the ensuite, the kitchen... The whole house itself, um, like I said, multiple awards. Something a little bit different with the facade. Um, uh, it's called the Barry facade. It's a flat kind of roof design. Um, he will kind of um, on the front with some kind of uh, kind of uh, better bricks, kind of big bricks, kind of in the garage as well. Uh, very quite quite a popular facade design, and and you can see it just stands out compared to a lot of the volume builders as well. So even. All, all our facades, you, you drive down the street in, in an estate, you'll definitely be able to see our, our facades stand out. And again, that's a, another way that we do get um, new clients is they're just driving down the street and, and they see the Enzo sign, they see their house being built, something a little bit different, um, and then they get in contact with me. Yeah, for sure. And the actual floor plan of the house is a courtyard, which is really popular with a lot of our clients as well. It provides a lot of advantages. You can either open it up for entertaining, you can close it off, separation of space if you want to have the kids at one end, parents at the other, as well as it letting in a lot of natural light as well. Um, so, yeah, it's a, quite a popular one for us. It's probably 50% of what we sell is is a, a version of the lighthouse. We have a 20-square version, 24-square version and 26-square version as a standard plan. Um, but like I said, we've customised it to, to suit clients' needs, whether we make it bigger, a little bit smaller... Uh, but the, the the courtyard design is is what initially attracted me to it, um, and obviously the the orientation of the block is is very important for that courtyard. Um, our display home, um, it's a it's a west facing courtyard, north facing backyard, uh, and all the living spaces at the back. Um, we have that raised ceiling, so yeah, people it, it's that wow factor when people walk into that section. They go, wow, so much natural light coming into this this particular area. It's um, it, look, it's just. I'm very lucky to work out of that display home. I'm, I'm very fortunate um, that I'm building something similar, um, but just to, to be able to work out of, you know, something unique like that. And um, you know, 99% of people that walk in absolutely love that design. Uh, that 1%, um, I think are a little bit confused by it, um, but that's just that 1%. So I'll take that 99% of people that love it, I'll take that. Yeah, absolutely. And being a being custom home builder, we don't tend to build the same house twice. But I guess the advantages of still having a display home is that you can walk in, you can get inspired of different things that you can include in your own home as well as see that quality that's on display for yourself firsthand. So there's still a lot of lot of great opportunity that you can have that. Oh, the, the display home, we've got some different elements in that display home. Like we've got a dog bath and a laundry. Um, no one's done that but it's just good to show people the, the the different things you can have within a home as well we've got a hidden laundry uh so like a, a james bond style kind of you know hidden room in in the house which is the laundry so uh, just some of the different elements that we've put in that just to showcase what you can do um but that's just you know one percent of what we can do as well um we've done so many different things in different people's homes and like you said even though we have our standard lighthouse floor plan Every person's floor plan is, is slightly different to that next person. Exactly. Well, that's a wrap for our first episode of the podcast. Michael, do you mind leaving your details so any potential clients will be able to get in contact with you? Uh, you can find me Saturday, Sunday at our display home um, in uh, 11 Faulkner Crescent in Armstrong Creek, Anchorage Estate. Um, I'm there between, I said, 11 and 5. Uh, I do via appointment there during the week. Um, you can email me at michael at uh, enzohomes.com.au. Um, if you search me, you can find my Instagram page. Um, not too much fun content on that. It's, you know, um, and then also you can uh, call the, uh, the, the office number and you'll be uh, directed to me. Perfect. Thank you. All right, that's a wrap for episode one. Awesome. Thanks, Sam.